dinosaurs have always been portrayed as these big dominating lizards that ruled the land masses of the Mesozoic, but that wasn't always the case. In fact, it wasn't size that got the dinosauria group going in the Triassic, but instead their body plan. Some of the earliest were South America's pharopods, the Herrerasaurids, and back then these guys couldn't rely on size and strength, but had to rely on speed and stealth instead because of big pseudosuchians such as Sorosuchus. This is the story behind what is one of the earliest dinosaurs, a small fly among giants. This is the story of the Brazilian speedster Storicosaurus. Storicosaurus is known to be the earliest Herrerasaurid alongside Gnevoborax and thus one of the joint earliest pharopods out there. It lived in the late Triassic 233.23 million years ago to about 225 million years ago. The southern cross lizard is named after the star constellation visible from the southern hemisphere and the Greek word Soros. It is known from Paleodox, namely Animal Armageddon. Storicosaurus pricey was named by Edwin Colbert in 1970. It has also been synonymized with Teyavasu Barberini. Belonging to the family Rorosauridae, it was a small to mid-sized predator by today's standards and had serrated curved back teeth suggesting Herrerasaurids were carnivorous. Storicosaurus was 2.2 to 2.25 meters or 7.2 to 7.4 feet in length with a body mass of 12 kilograms or 26.5 pounds. It was a small agile and bipedal predator with a long tail aiding as a dynamic stabilizer while running and leaping and long hind limbs or running fast. It practically is the preliminary model for dinosaurian predators that should follow over the course of the Mesozoic. Research of Sorischia by paleontologists Suez and others supports the idea that Sorichosaurus and the related genus Herrerasaurus are pharopods and evolved after Sauropodomorpha had split from Pharopoda. However, Fernando Novas shows Herrerasaurus as basal Sorischian dinosaurs that are placed outside pharopods. To be honest, there are many theories on the taxonomy of early dinosaurs, but for this video, we're gonna stay with 2011 cladogram of Suez and others that I already showed you before. Sterichosaurus and its relatives preyed on small and medium sized terrestrial vertebrates such as cynodonts, rhynchosaurs and herbivorous synapsids. A mandible suggests that a sliding joint in the jaw allowed it to move backwards and forwards as well as up and down. However, some authors question the presence of an intramandibular joint in Sterichosaurus due to the poor preservation of the holotype. Smaller prey would have been worked backwards towards its throat, aided along by its small backwards curving teeth. This feature was common at the time, but would disappear in later pharopods. The Ricosaurus environment, the Santa Maria formation, contains remains of the Temnospondyl Compsocerops, Dicynodonts, including Dinodontosaurus. Kynognathians such as Exerotodon, the Probenognathians, Trucidocynodon, and Pseudosuchians such as Prestosuchus and Rauisuchus, and a bunch of other reptiles including Proterochampsa, Hyperodapodon, etc. There were also Avimetatarsalians, meaning bird metatarsals, a clade of diapsid reptiles containing all archosaurs more closely related to birds than to crocodilians. These include the Herrerasaurids, the Rilchosaurids, and Gnabophorax, as well as as the sauropodum of Pampadromius, some coelosaurids, later pedids and aphanosaurians. Sterichosaurus and his relatives would have been the speedsters in the Santa Maria formation. They were the beginning of a great story because these early dinosaurs printed the ultimate blueprint for all dinosaurian predators that came after them, a body plan that dominated the lands for over 160 million years. That's it for the profile on Sterichosaurus. Check out the playlist dinosaur profile for more videos on single dinosaurs. Smash the thumbs up and the subscribe button as well as the bell so we can make more such videos. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Mega Raptor out.